Hello everyone and welcome back again to Ayag Dawan Gaming and Hobbies. So for those of you who love racing game, there is a new game that is launched uh, this week, which is called Grid by Codemaster. So this one was launched on Friday, October 11. I just decided to get one and test it myself and see if I like it. So stay with me. So basically I've been playing this game for several hours so I would like to share my impression about the game what I like what I don't like and hopefully this would be helpful for you who is looking for a game okay first of all maybe it's a bit personal but I'm a big fan of Corvette racing and I just love to see the focus that they give to this car in the game so we can see the Corvette C7R in the trailer of the game the menu screen as well as the first introductory race to the game so for me i really like this graphic is a very strong point of this game because it looks stunning maybe you cannot see it clearly in my video but it really looks beautiful with a high level of detail for the scratches on the bodywork of the car or by looking at this onboard view those radiator fins really look nice. So let's enjoy some onboard footage while I'm chasing that Ferrari. The weather effect also looks gorgeous, as you can see it looks really beautiful. The game is running at 60 frames per second, I'm playing it on a PlayStation 4 Pro. But I noticed some frame rate drop when there are too many things going on on the screen. And that's I believe the downside of the graphic, at least on the PlayStation 4 version. And again, let's watch some onboard footage from this wet racing session. When you start racing then you will realize that this is not really a simulator game, this is more of a casual racing game. Some of the realism of physics has been taken out in favor of a more forgiving driving experience. So for a fan of sim racer like me, this is quite disappointing. But if we take the bright side, if we turn off all the driving assistance and put the AI in the maximum difficulties, then the game becomes really challenging. In this condition, the game is getting closer to the real simulator. For example, it's easy for us to spawn the car if you are not careful on taking the corners or taking the curbs. So there are still some realism of physics there. To me, this game is kind of sit in the middle between a sim racer like the Assetto Corsa and the Need for Speed. And somehow, I like this combination. This game features cars from different racing discipline, such as touring cars, GT cars, or even tuner cars. In total, there are around 70 cars to choose from. These numbers look small if we compare it to GT Sport or Project Cars, and I really hope in the future that there are more cars coming. But at least they have made a good start with the decent selection of cars and classes. However, I'm not too excited with this selection of tracks. There are 13 tracks with combination of both fictional and real-life racing tracks. We can see some famous racing track there such as Indianapolis, Brands Hatch or Silverstone. But I still think that they are missing some of the big names in the motorsport like Spa Franco Champs, Nürburgring or even Suzuka in Japan. I just hope that these kind of tracks could be added in the future updates of the game.
There are 400 types of AI in this game and they are very unique. Each of them has a unique characteristic and they are acting like human. So they also made mistake during the race. And like real human, if we are going too hard with them, for example, if we hit them too many times, then they would become our nemesis. This angry driver will try hard to block you or even take you out of the race. So it's like really having an enemy on the racetrack. I believe this game is not for those of you who is looking for ultra realistic simulator with a huge selection of cars and tracks, but instead this is for those of you who is looking for fun racing game. Grid has thrown away all the complexities of simulator game and put the fun back into its core action, which is the racing itself. We will not be bothered by detailed car setup nor racing rules. Grid simply put us in the driver's seat with only one goal, is to finish the race with a very limited uh, restriction. In this game, racing is really a contact sport. And to do it with our favorite real-life racing car, it's lots of fun. And finally, thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoy it. Please leave a like and I will be very happy to hear any comments from you. I will be back again on another review. So, see you.